Rishier, I struggle to be surprised. I was caught off guard, but I should not have been. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. No more pulling strings. This throne and its burdens are mine. Have you had enough fun? My crowning must come soon. I'll save some for later. Let's make a king of you. To Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory! Yeah! To Hafton, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, stout oak of Valkyries, spinner of battle wisdom. Long may you live and rule. Skull! Skull! <laughs> <coughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft like Roman pipes. Ah, oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. She's your weapon, Ferovit. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Hafton, stop! This is a man of honor! You stand beside this... this traitor? I do. Let truth guide us here, not madness. I am Halfdan Ragnarsson, wolf of war, lord of Jorvik, ruler of men. I am king! Not my king. I will not bow to a man who accuses me of treason. In days yet to come, men will sing the praises of Haftan and scorn the life of Faravid the Betrayer. You are the hero of a coward's tale. A man who hid behind his best men and claimed their victories for his own. You are banished. Out! Never again set foot in my lands! Thank you, King. 
I... No more. Leave me. Fearfully quiet, Eivor. One should never break a silence without reason. <laughs> what in Asgard is going on? I fear for Northumbria now that Hafton is king. Many may Something suffer if his madness goes unchecked. And who is to blame for his madness, Ferevit? I should demand an apology for that. But there is no need. Soon I shall be long gone, far away across the whale road where the fates guide me. End of the road. Goodbye, Eivor. Did you know? About the goblets? The lid? Now's the time for truth. I hope one day we may raise our spears together, old friend. <laughs> we hope for many things in this life, yet we earn so few of them. me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. Good to see you, darling. I entered Jorvikshire to meet Halfdan Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfdan the King. We have an oath at last. Good. Very good. Shall we? Please, Eivor. Not now. Not with Sigurd there. Shall we? Please, Eivor. Not now. Not with Sigurd there. I want to see the Alliance map. What transpires in Glauchestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. 
He has traveled to Gloucestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there. Good boy. What see you, old friend?
Thought I smelt you under wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunnar. Avadin da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal. But she loves the ugly little thing. Have you a family, Bridget? If mom and dad cut it even gilder than Anun, couldn't help Druze me. Breaks with man power, the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air seek a a tavor gal, please, Slaw. Right, no daylight to waste, then, huh? So the Elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. <laughs> Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <laughs> and the merchants here are not unsettled by lurking Vikinger. They come from all over to celebrate Samhain. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mine. Sauer? Is that what these cab roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Face is cut. 
into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let's spring a few back. Is the elder man, Kunan. A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah, then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hans as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place, and he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevdur, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick and the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? I'm here to hasten my friend's marriage, and drink my weight in ale. If friendship comes afterwards, then all the better. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? So-called puppet kings keep your land safe and your bellies full. I ask no thanks, only hospitality. Apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last sowen. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder! As your Harvest King, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry! So, you've come to meet the family, before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then, by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. I, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm? God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go! May you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Sowen. <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. <laughs> 